Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate averages in Microsoft Excel. So let's go ahead and open up this folder and inside this folder I've got a blank spreadsheet. We'll open up this blank spreadsheet. So I've just zoomed in here a little bit to make it a little bit easier for you to see. And I'm going to show you how to use the average function in Microsoft Excel. This helps us to just calculate averages for a given set of numbers. So let's just randomly type in some numbers here into these columns, right? Or into these rows in this first column and we want to calculate the average of all of these given numbers so to do this there's quite a few different ways to do this in excel but i'll show you some typical examples of how i use it let's just zoom in a little bit more and i'm going to click in this blank cell down here so this is where we're going to calculate the average of these so i'm going to click here and type in the equal sign and then start to type in average and then, you, then you'll see the option will pop up here so we'll just double click this and then we'll hold down the left mouse button, select these cells here, and then just simply hit the enter key. And we can see the average of these values here is 89. Now we can manually check to see if that number is actually valid by copying these. So we'll highlight them with our mouse, press Control C to copy, move to this cell, and press Control V to paste. So now we've got duplicate content here, but this time we'll do the calculation manually. So what we do is type in the equal sign and uh, in fact, what we need to do is sum this first. So we need to get a grand total. So we'll click here and we'll hold down the left mouse button and select all of these. And then we can use the auto sum tool here. And that gives us a grand total, right? So this, these, this is the average and this is now the grand total. And in this cell here, we can type in equals this value, 623. And we put a slash in here for the divide. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we divide it by seven and hit enter. And we can see also equals 89. So that's a manual calculation. Basically that is the same as using the average function here. Right, it works in a similar way, but we calculate it manually. Sometimes it's nice to do this just to make sure the maths is actually correct. Let's select all of these again and paste them into here. And we'll set them to a, let's just select all of these cells and we'll set them to a currency value, right? Currency. So sometimes we want to calculate averages in the currency. So the other way to do this is to select the cell down here. It can be any type of values above, but we'll select this cell and we'll go to the function tool here. We'll click on this little icon and in here you can see averages here. So you just scroll down and find average, click it and then click OK. And then it's going to select, pre-select those particular uh, cells here and we'll click OK and then we can see the value is 89 so here we can see three examples and they all equal 80 they all equal to 89 and that's how the average function works there is another way to use the average function by clicking uh, by typing in equals and an open bracket and type in average and then click average here and then it's going to ask you number one number two number three four and five so if we type in 100 comma 200 comma and let's say 500 comma you can just keep typing in values let's say another 100 and then close the bracket and then hit enter it says we found a typo in your formula do you want to accept the correction uh let's see uh let's see let's just say yes and let's see what the correction was okay we had to uh have two closed brackets at the end that was the problem. So we just need a double close bracket at the end, one to open, one to have the values and then a double close at the end. So that's, that was the error there. So at least we can see errors and Excel is going to correct them for us. So that's quite useful as well. But all we're doing is taking these values inside here and then calculating the average of those given values in here. So it could have been these same values here uh, in this example, right? So we just hit enter and there you go. So that's how I go about using the average function in Microsoft Excel. It's very useful if you want to just calculate the average of all of your staff wages for example these could have been wages for all the different people in your company what is the average wage across 10 people in your business for example or if you want to do your gas electric bill you might list out all the bills for the 12 months right and you want to calculate what is the average cost for gas and electric in your house or your business you could do the same with fuel costs for your car so you could list out all the different months the 12 months and what is the actual fuel cost that you're spending and then what is the average of that fuel cost so that's how we use the average function in microsoft excel let's go ahead and save this 
and we'll close this down. Hopefully you find that tutorial useful. If you have any questions, feel free to write a comment in the YouTube uh, commenting system and I'll try and reply to that and give you some answers. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can access over 600 free video tutorials. That's the end of this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial. Thank you.